What's happening, guys? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. On this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. In today's episode, we'll be taking a dive into the Osmosis Zone. We'll be looking at Osmosis, the first DeFi app, first DeFi app built on Cosmos. Cosmos, if you're not familiar, brands itself as the internet of blockchains, sort of similar to Polkadot. They allow different parties to build their own layer one blockchains and then connect them through Cosmos's IBC, that is inter-blockchain communication. And what Osmosis is, is it's an AMM built on Cosmos that allows you to exchange and earn yield on these various Cosmos tokens. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up your Kepler wallet since you cannot use your MetaMask on Osmosis, how to populate your Kepler with funds, and then some of the ways that you can earn yield on Osmosis, including uh, some interesting features that they have in their liquidity pools, which I haven't seen elsewhere. Before I jump into that, I want to highlight that the main reason why I'm so bullish on Osmosis is that all of the tokens on it are high quality, unique projects. They're their own layer one blockchains. And most of them are focused on real world adoption. We'll take a dive into some of them later. Additionally, Terra Luna, one of my favorite projects, will be connecting to the Cosmos IBC soon. And so Luna projects will be available on here as well. And you'll be able to, able to exchange them with the other Cosmos tokens, pretty huge. Before I go into the tutorial, I also want to take a look at DeFi Llama. If you're not familiar with this website, this is one of my go-to websites for DeFi data. You can see TVL by protocol, by chain, in different DEXs, etc. And just looking at Osmosis, it was launched back in June, and the TVL was around 70 million by the end of June. It's just grown consistently since then, even during some quite bearish periods, and uh, it's up to almost 300 million now. I think it's flying a bit under the radar, people aren't talking about it, but it's steadily building, steadily adding TVL. Let's get into it then. First, I'll show you how to set up your Kepler wallet. Kepler is the interchain wallet, and you can use it to access all of the various Cosmos blockchains. First thing you'll do is add it as an extension, just like you would MetaMask. It's already on my Brave browser. And you can see that once you add it, it will appear up in the top right, just like your MetaMask does. One cool thing about Kepler is that when you, uh, when you install it, you'll be prompted with this page, and you actually have the option of signing in with Google if you choose. I chose not to. Uh, I don't want my funds to be beholden to Google's goodwill, but I know that my father chose this option without a second thought, so perhaps that appeals to you depending on your uh, personal preference for convenience versus security. And then to take a quick look at the wallet, you can see that it's pretty sleek. You can stake directly in here. You can deposit. You can send. You can send tokens over the IBC, which is essentially a way to transfer them between the various Cosmos chains. And uh, you can see all the different Cosmos chains right here. You have Osmosis, which we'll be using. You have Secret Network, which is a privacy-based smart contract network. You even have Crypto.org. And you have SIFChain, which I know a lot of people are very bullish on. So we'll switch to Osmosis since uh, that's the chain we'll be using. And then we'll hop back to osmosis.zone, which is where the Osmosis AMM is. I guess that's that name is kind of a play on Osmosis Jones, if you remember that movie. So we'll go into Osmosis. You can see their branding is science experiments, I suppose. They have this fellow who's in a lot of their things. He has a robotic arm, some sort of chemistry set, and his uh, dogemosis to help him out. So very nice. So the first thing you'll have to do is, assuming you bought Atom on a uh, centralized exchange and transferred it here, first thing that you'll have to do is transfer your Atom over to 
over to uh, Osmosis. And the way you'll do that is you'll just go to IBC Deposit, click on Deposit, and then it will automatically populate your Cosmos address to your Osmosis address, and then you can choose how much you want to move over. I already I already moved moved uh, the tokens over that I'm using, so we won't do that now. But I found it to be a pretty smooth process, and although it would be nice if we didn't have to bridge at all, it was quite seamless. The next thing you'll have to do to use this, if you haven't, uh, if you don't have any Osmo tokens, which I wasn't able to find a good place to buy them in the United States, what you'll have to do is convert some Atom to Osmos. So right now, one Atom is six Osmo tokens. Assuming you're doing that, you would click on Swap, and you'll be prompted to approve the transaction, and you actually can approve the transaction with zero dollars. I'm not going to do that now because I it takes a bit longer, so I did it in advance of this video, but you actually can approve this transaction and it will go through. So in order to get Osmo tokens in your wallet for the first time to pay for gas, since you can see gas is denominated in Osmo, you'll have to do one of those zero fee transfers, zero fee swaps. We'll reject that transaction. So that's the basics of setting up your Kepler wallet. I think it's pretty straightforward and the use is quite similar to MetaMask. Although actually I, I like this, I think I like this UI a little bit better. I particularly like how you can stake directly in here. That's, that's pretty nice. Now to take a quick look at the DEX, jumping over to the pools. First thing I want to call out is that these uh, APRs, as soon as they load, they are not 0%. There they are. These APRs are actually quite juicy. So the Adam Osmo pool has 219% right now. Ion, which is a token on Osmosis, 270%. And you can see most of these are just hovering around. Some of them, them are a bit lower, but most are hovering around 170 to 250%. So pretty nice. But the thing that's really cool about this is that these tokens are not just farming tokens or some carbon copy of another project. They're actually unique projects, most of them with their own layer one blockchain. To call out a few examples, AKT is the Akash network. It's a decentralized cloud computing network. DVPN is Sentinel, which is a decentralized VPN service. Both of these actually you can get miners for. They're quite competitive to get, uh, but they do have miners coming out, so you may be interested in that as well if you're able to get one. I haven't been able to yet. Uh, they have CRO, crypto.com, so you can farm that on here. XPRT, which is Persistence Network, and Persistence allows people to borrow crypto with real-world assets as collateral. Regen, which IDO'd on Osmosis and is an agriculture-based product. So actually, real-world agriculture, connecting that to crypto. Uh, and there's some other projects, too. I believe IOV involves creating some sort of universal Web3 username. So really cool. And like I said, focus on real-world use case. I mean, you have real-world assets as collateral. You have agriculture. You have VPNs. You have cloud computing. So uh, you're farming tokens that, that you might actually want, right? Uh, and, and then there's some other interesting features about these pools as well. So we'll take a look at the Akash Atom pool, since those are both tokens, and I'll definitely be farming in this pool. So the first thing that's interesting is you can see that the APR actually varies based on how long you're willing to lock your liquidity for. So that 170% APR we saw on the previous page only applies if you're willing to lock your liquidity for 14 days. But I think that's actually, even though perhaps if you're trying to jump in and out of farms, this might not appeal to you, but if you believe in Akash, you believe in Adam long-term, then I think this is pretty nice and it rewards people who are willing to hold. And another added benefit is that, uh, is that it actually forces you to hold. I mean, uh, that's one of the things I love about projects that have an unstaking period, even a little unstaking period. It gives you some cool off time if you're, if you're desperate to sell. Of course, that can be stressful during a crash, but, but it does have its positives. The other unique thing about Osmosis is that 
unlike most liquidity pools, which are always 50-50, different pools on Osmosis actually have different ratios between the tokens in them. So this pool, for example, is 66% Akash, 34% Atom. So uh, you're mostly earning yield on your Akash. Final thing that I will call out here is that the rewards you earn on this, uh, there's no option to claim them or anything. They'll just be deposited directly to your wallet every 24 hours. So that's kind of cool as well. Now, let's do a quick demonstration of how this works. To start, we'll do the Atom Osmo pool. So Atom Osmo is 50-50. So we don't need, we don't need to uh, do any weird ratios for this. So I'll add some liquidity. I already have a bit of Atom and Osmo, so I can use this. And uh, I'll just do, let's say I'll do five Atom, 10. I'll do 10 Atom and 60 Osmo tokens. Let's make it 15 Atom. So I'll do 15 Atom, 90.9 .9 Osmo tokens, and I'll add that as liquidity. So you can see that I think this, uh, this UI they have here is pretty nice, even though it's a simple thing. It kind of shows that the developers are forward thinking where most AMMs direct you to some other page and it can be a bit confusing, particularly, particularly if you're new. Here they just have a pop-up, manage liquidity, put in the tokens you want, add liquidity. You'll be prompted to, to uh, choose this. So I'll do high, so that way you don't have to wait around. Approve. TX is pending, wait a second. Let's see how long this takes. This will be the real test of the Osmosis Network. There we go, transaction successful. So my liquidity, $722. And let's see, I want to start earning. So I'm going to be bold here. I'm actually going to bond this for 14 days. So uh, two weeks, I won't be able to withdraw this, but I believe in this project. So let's do the max amount and let's bond it. We'll do average this time. And so that's pretty much it. There you go. And that was quick. I guess I didn't need to do, do the high gas fee. So my liquidity is now deposited. And every day, the Osmosis Rewards, Osmo tokens, will be deposited straight to my wallet. That's pretty nice. Uh, so that, that is all for today on Osmosis. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this project is worth yield farming on? Do you think that the Cosmos ecosystem has good potential? Remember that. Terra Luna and Thorchain, two popular projects, are both built on uh, Cosmos. So Terra Luna is definitely planning to integrate. I think currently the schedule is by the end of September. Potentially Thorchain will as well. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, but but so keep that in mind when, when uh, talking about the Cosmos ecosystem. But let me know if you are generally bullish on it. Uh, and let me know if you try this out and if you have any particular strategies that you want to use to farm on here. That's all for today. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.